Welcome to JavaScript tutorial. If you are visiting this YouTube channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video tutorial, you can uh, get notification. All right. Uh, today we are going to start with JavaScript programming. JavaScript programming is uh, the most popular programming language and JavaScript is language of the web. Um, many who start learning JavaScript programming language, they complain it's uh, really tough. It doesn't have the beginning and ending. But in reality, it is not true and it is learnable and very, very easy if you can understand. And I will be teaching step by step in a way so that you can understand it very easily. There are um, thousands of video tutorial on YouTube but uh, simply well explained video tutorials are rare this will be very simple easy fun and engaging tutorial okay uh, today i will just um, try to clear the concept of the JavaScript, okay? Um, HTML is just to create the web pages and um, CSS is to style the pages to make it colorful and beautiful. But if we want to make the web pages or website or web application interactive and functional, we need JavaScript. We can compare a website with a building. What do we use to build a building? We use simply uh, cement, brick, brick and water rod and some more elements okay and we build a building with all those elements after we build the building what we do we beautify the building we paint the building make it beautiful okay after we build a building and paint the building what we do to make it more comfortable, more smooth, okay? What we do, we put electricity connection, internet connection, water connection, gas connection, and so on, so on. So this water connection, electricity connection, internet connection, phone connection, okay, networks are just like JavaScript. Without them, the house will not be a complete house, okay? So let's start with JavaScript. JavaScript is language of the way. Now, many tutors, teachers will teach you to download a code editor at the very beginning, create files and folders, and they will connect the HTML file with JavaScript file, and it'll take an hour to just create the environment. But today, I'm not going to do it. I will just open a new tab, okay? Go to Google. Okay, then just create a new tab and right button click and click on inspect. 
it will show us a lot of HTML and CSS elements, okay? Now, I'll just click on console and it will show us this console window, okay? Now, I just write alert, okay? Alert, then semicolon. What is alert? Alert is just a method of a JavaScript, okay? Method. Now, what is method? Okay, method just we used to do something, okay? Now, this is alert method and alert is reserve keyword in JavaScript, then parenthesis, then semicolon. And inside the parenthesis, I just put to single quotation mark and inside the quotation mark, I write message. I can say, hello world, okay? All right, and now what I can do, take my cursor at the end, then just put enter and I see there is an alert, it's a pop-up alert and it says hello world, okay? And again, I can write another alert method, okay? And just say, how are you doing, okay? And close the inverted comma, okay? And again, press enter. Uh, I have to close it first, okay? And again, we can see another alert and it's asking us, how are you doing? Okay, so wonderful. Uh, very interesting, right? Then we are going to learn another method that is console.log, okay? console.log, this is another method. This is used, console.log is used in JavaScript to uh, see the output of our program. Whatever we put message inside the console.log. Uh, we can say uh, JavaScript is easy, okay? Easy, yes it is. Then just in press enter and we can see the output JavaScript is easy, okay? Now, um, we see we are using inverted comma when we are writing uh, string, string data type, okay? I will take another session on what are data types, how many data types are there in JavaScript programming, okay? Don't worry about it. Uh, we can also print console.log the numbers, okay? Numbers, not only string, we can print numbers also 1000 okay then just press enter and we can see uh, 1000 so when we are using string we are putting them inside the inverted comma okay uh, and when we are using number we are not using inverted commas okay then Another uh, method we are going to use, this is called prompt, and let's see how does it functions, okay? Uh, what is your name, okay? And let's press enter and see prompt giving us 
um, space where we can answer, okay? I can say, my name is boss, okay? Boss programmer. Okay, and click on okay, and I see here are the outputs of the prompts, the answer I put, okay? Boss programmer, okay. Now, what we have learned today, number one, how to open console window to run JavaScript code or program, okay? And we learn three methods, one is a lot, another one is console.log, and the final one is prompt. And we have seen the different three functions, how they function, okay? And we also learn two data types. These are one is string, and when we are using string, we are putting them inside the quotation mark and when we are using numbers we are not using quotation mark okay and in the next tutorial we will learn how many data types are there and how they can be used okay and you know the web developers the programmers software engineers they are making hundred thousand dollar every year and senior software engineers or web developers or programmers they are making more than that okay if anyone can practice one hour every single day he or she can be a programmer or web developer or software developer or software engineer in just three to six months okay and i am teaching on my youtube channel all these programming languages web design and development for free okay so if you like this video tutorial Please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I um, upload new videos, you can get a notification. And there are thousands of video tutorial on programming languages. But if you watch those tutorials in my tutorial, you will be surprised javascript people are teaching in a very complicated way i'm teaching in a very simple way so that anyone can follow practice and learn okay i'll make sure everybody can learn it okay if you can invests your time 30 minutes to 60 minutes every single day you can become also a programmer a web developer software developer and software engineer see you in the next class thank you